Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to resolve the uh, issues with the JMeter plugin. So in some companies, in some organizations, uh, uh, they will enable uh, a proxy by default. So when you have a proxy, so in JMeter we should know, we should tell the JMeter that you should work on the proxy to get the uh, plugin details. So for that what we need to do is uh, first you need to copy the First, you need to copy the plugin jar. You need to download it manually from the browser and copy it into your uh, copy it into your uh, web. Uh, I mean, JMeter libexe folder. Okay. Once you copy that uh, uh, jar, restart your JMeter. Once you restart, if you um, able to see the uh, message, the pop up, what you're seeing now. So it should see the installed jars, it should, should be available plugins and upgrades and everything. Okay. If you are not able to see that, then what you need to do is like go to uh, go to uh, settings of uh, any browser settings of any browser and go for proxy and uh, see is there any proxy enabled. So here we have a proxy with double line double line port okay so for that what you need to do is uh you go to the uh, jmeter go to jmeter bin folder in the bin folder you will see a file called system dot properties system dot properties okay if you click and edit on system dot properties you should add these properties to your uh, property file to enable proxy to your JMeter. Okay. So you can access your browser, you can access your emails and everything, but uh, you cannot open a plugin manager in JMeter because your system, your uh, uh, Chrome browser or Mozilla or Edge or Outlook, everything automatically looks for the system configuration proxy. Okay. But JMeter don't know. Uh, it's try to directly connect with, uh, connect with, um, the internet but uh, actually you have enabled the proxy so you need to request your uh, plugin manager service to your proxy then proxy will pass the request to the actual server and then it will get the response from the proxy so to make that uh, uh, possible so we are making here like http proxy and https proxy so for http request for https request for both we are adding uh, we are adding um, what we are adding the port numbers okay so if this is disabled uh, you cannot access any web application or anything which you, which you are able to access through your browser you cannot access through to jmeter if you run with your jmeter also it will not allow you to do that uh, i mean it will throw a connection refuse or connection time dot or something kind of error so once you have copied or once you update these properties then restart your jmeter Okay, once you restart the JMeter, so it will uh, it will allow you to connect the proxy, and you will have one more issue now. So if you have a, if you have a, uh, if you have any um, HTTPS proxy server, so now the proxy server what I'm using is Fiddler. Okay, it's a Fiddler server. Fiddler, uh, uh, I'm I'm enabled a Fiddler. So which is acting as a proxy in between JMeter and the actual server. Okay. Now, if you're trying to download your jars, it was failing. It was failing just uh, and saying, see, it was saying a failure to download. So it, what it was saying is it was the actual error. Uh, actual error is like it couldn't find the certificate to import. We're unable to find the valid certificate. So for these kind of issues, what we need to do is like we need to import the Fiddler certificate into your Java. So generally Java certificate holds in uh, JRE lip, uh, bin, lip folder. There you will have a secret folder and you will have a CA cert file. So to that you need to add your certificate. So this is the actual command. This is the actual command. Uh, which we need to import to our certificates okay so this is our actual certificate so you need to get your certificate uh, so from Fiddler we have an option 
uh, we have option to get our HTTP certificate to desktop. Okay. Now, if you're if you have a different prog, you will have a different progress server, right? So try to launch the URL or the host name here, and get the certificate by using like if you uh, if you select this, you will get a certificate here. So go to the site setting. Uh, you uh, you can go to the you can view the certificate. The connection is secure. Uh, certificate valid you can go to the certificate you can import from here and uh, you can use the certificate and export to the desktop or somewhere to your folder so now uh, now get the certificate name certificate name so this is your certificate name this is my certificate name so now what we need to do is like copy this Copy this, copy this certificate uh, name, sir command, or you can do one more thing like uh, cmd, cmd, and uh, dir here. If you have a desktop here, if, yeah, we have desktop. So go into desktop. So here you have the certificate, uh, certificate uh, file. Okay. If you don't have certificate file and desktop, so navigate to the respective folder from where you can input. So enter the certificate uh, this e store or uh, change it. This certificate, yes. It certificate access denied. Okay. So if you see this command access denied, then run your CMD in run as administrator. Once you run this as run as administrator. Uh, so go to C drive, CD dot dot CD uh, dot dot CD users CD you user CD desktop. From here, copy your certificate. Uh, copy your uh, command. Enter here. The password is change it. The default password is change it. So trust yes, certificate added to Keystore. Now what we need to do is restart your JMeter. Restart your JMeter, and your certificate, your Fiddler certificate is imported successfully. So instead of Fiddler certificate, you need to get your your proxy certificate. So I mean your proxy server certificate. Uh, then you import your proxy certificate. Go to the plugin manager. Now uh, click apply and changes. Now it should download your jars now. I mean the certificate issue should be uh, gone now. Now see uh, this was uh, now this was changing. Now for downloading, downloading uh, SDK common. Now you are not seeing any errors. Now you are not seeing any error. So. What we need to let the your certificate is trusted by your system, but the certificate is not trusted by your Java. So we need to make sure that certificate is imported and you have made it as a trusted certificate uh, to your JMeter. So once that is done, your J uh, your um, um, JMeter will restart automatically. So let's wait till the JMeter restarts. So a lot of jars we have here to download. So it was taking some time. So it downloaded successfully and restarting. Yeah, it was restarted. Okay. Uh, thanks for viewing this friends. Uh, please subscribe and uh, do share the video.